to my week 24 update. I'm very excited to talk to you guys about some of the new symptoms that I've had this week. Um, I will say they are on a very more TMI subject, so if you guys don't like talking about um, a lot of those kind of grosser subjects that we go through during pregnancy, I would not recommend this video, but if you want an honest and real video, I would definitely watch this. <laughs> Um, if you guys don't know me, my name is Lila and I have two beautiful little girls. Uh, one is three and the other is two and I am currently 24, almost 25 weeks tomorrow, weeks pregnant with another little girl. So um, let's just go ahead and get straight into these symptoms. Um, the first really big symptom that I've been having this week, which I've noticed, is um, lethargic feelings, I guess. I really don't know how to explain it. I've been trying to explain it to my husband, but I've been feeling very not myself. And I can tell it's kind of like when you're on your menstrual cycle and you can kind of tell you're just, you're about to start and like, you just get really moody. And like I said in my last update, I've been very moody. Well, this week it's just been very like tired and just not very motivated and just kind of like more sad I would say like not about anything particular but it's just been harder to be my normal optimistic self this week and I think that that's okay I think that it's normal to like have these feelings and to acknowledge them and just not get stuck in them so something that I'm definitely trying to do is like get myself out of the house a little bit more that could be why um, I'm taking my kids to go see a dinosaur like little adventure thing today and just get out of the house because I think that's important when you're pregnant is to just get out of the house. I take my kids out on walks every once in a while when I can and that really just helps. So that's definitely a symptom that I've been having lately is hormonal, I guess, mood changes. Like I just haven't felt like myself. Um, another symptom that I've been having lately, which has been happening for a while, but I feel like it's definitely increasing now that she feels heavier, um, and that's discharge. So nobody wants to hear about that, but I feel like it's an important thing to talk about because it's normal. And when you're pregnant and you have, I think my baby's head down, I'll find out on Tuesday, but... <laughs> Um, when you have so much pressure down there and I have more pressure with this baby than I did the last ones, it's just normal for your body to, you know, keep itself clean and stuff like that. But I have noticed I've had to wear panty liners almost constantly. So <laughs> that's definitely a weird symptom to have, but it's, it's very annoying, but it's definitely there. Um, another TMI situation that we're going through this week especially is I've had constipation most of this pregnancy, but as she's getting bigger, it's definitely getting worse. And I feel like no matter how much like rich fiber foods I eat, it doesn't help. So I've been almost religiously taking colace, which has helped me immensely. If you guys need a little bit of help in that region, I would highly recommend it because <laughs> I feel like it's literally going to save my body at this point, as well as just trying to stay hydrated, which I'm bad at anyways, but I'm trying so hard to get better at staying hydrated, um, especially this pregnancy. So we're working on it. <laughs> um, for weight gain this week, I haven't, I don't think I've gained any weight really. Um, I still am sitting around about 146 pounds, but then it like, it goes two pounds lower or two pounds higher, depending on what time of day I measure myself or, you know, what I've eaten that day or <laughs> whatever. So my weight is definitely still fluctuating like around that stage, I guess. And so I'm just happy we're at probably the nine or 10 pound mark at 25 weeks now, almost tomorrow. So I am happy with that, but I guess we'll just have to see what my doctor has to say um, next week on Tuesday. So I will update you guys on that on my regular video, either next Saturday or next Friday, and just update you guys um, the best I can on, you know, what she says and what's new, because if you guys watched my last updates, you'll know I actually didn't get to meet with my OB. I had to meet with a nurse practitioner at the last visit, and it was very short and sweet, more even so than my doctor's appointments usually go. So it was very non-informative this time. So we shall see how that one goes. Um, my nails have been getting increasingly, they, they usually break off very easily, but they've been growing. They grew super long to the point where I was having to cut them. And then my roots were going super bad. I finally just did my hair a little bit. It's still a little bit yellow orange, but um, 
I, my roots are just growing in like insane. So my hair is finally starting to grow. Um, I lost most of my hair after my last pregnancy. I would say about two thirds of my hair fell out. But um, if you guys have problems with postpartum hair loss or pregnancy hair loss, I would recommend Shea Moisture's um, Leave-In Hair Conditioning for hair growth. Um, it's even helped my brother who was actually balding grow hair. Um, we put it in my daughter's hair that couldn't grow hair for like the first year and a half of her life and she finally has some pretty substantially long hairs now so it definitely works and it's definitely one of those really good natural based cruelty free brands so it's one of my favorite. I would definitely highly check out a lot of their products because they're really all good to be honest with you. We use their baby wash too so um, I think that's pretty much it for my like symptoms that have been new. I mean, obviously I didn't change if you've seen the last one, my symptoms this week from last week, because they're honestly the same. My stomach just itches really bad. My chest itches. It feels like my chest is like, oh, like I just want to, oh, like I don't want clothes on me. I don't want anything touching me. I don't want my husband touching me. Like my chest has just gotten so big at this point where I'm like, no, like no. <laughs> And then leg cramps and all of that has still been there. Um, I'm very hungry. I guess that would be the only other thing I can update you guys on. Um, I'm finally getting an appetite. I feel like I could eat literally everything in the world. And it's taking a lot to eat salads and stuff like that and be healthy. And I can only eat one scoop of ice cream because this baby really doesn't like sweets. So we'll have to see how my glucose test goes. I've never had gestational diabetes before. Um, or, you know, low blood pressure or anything like that. So we'll just have to see why, if it's just a specific thing that she doesn't like or if it's a health condition. So we will see. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed it, if you guys are enjoying your pregnancy, if you like these types of videos, please hit that like button down below. It helps our channel so much and we appreciate every like that we get. And also subscribe to our channel for more videos and let me know what you guys want to see down below or if you guys have current pregnancy videos up or any videos you think I would be interested in. I love DIY videos and all that kind of stuff. So leave those comments down below. I love you guys and I will see you guys next week for my next update.